Welcome back everyone to Aaron's Yard. So today I need to sharpen my chainsaw because I've been cutting a lot of firewood and not making a lot of whole videos on it because it's just cutting. I mean, everyone does that. But a good friend of mine asked, hey, why don't you uh, make a video on how to sharpen your chainsaw? Because he doesn't know how to. And this is going out to you, Ron. So the first thing I do is I'll loosen up the nuts on the front here. Okay. This one's a little tight. See. Okay, we'll lift the bar. Tighten your chain nice and tight. No slack. Tighten your nuts. And you're ready to go. Now you want to make sure the chain moves not too tight, but you want it tight so it doesn't walk on you. So now the way I do it is I get a nice crotch of a tree. I'll take the blade, stick it in there, and I got a nice firm base. And I'll lean over the saw. So now you take the steel sharpener, and this is uh, my new favorite sharpening tool. Uh, especially when I'm out in the field. I do have a bench grinder. I do grind my own chains on the bench, but when I'm out here, I want to cut all day. I've got to touch up the chain. This is what I use. So now on this tool, there are lines, okay? There's lines here and here. These are what you line your bar up with. So you're going to take the position of your bar with those lines so you're parallel and you get the correct degree. And we place, you got to make sure you're in the correct direction when you're cutting your, your, your uh, breakers and your tooth. So let's see where we're at here. This is the wrong direction. So we're going to be going this way. We're going to start with this one. This is this is this is our start direction. Okay, now when I take it, you want to see. Try to get a little closer. So now with those lines parallel to the bar, you take and you run the file flat across the tooth. One, two, three. Usually three strokes is all you really need. I mean, this, this chain might need a couple more, uh, but you don't want to take too much. Now with the flat file in the middle, it's definitely taking down the raker because uh, my tooth is a little worn. Some people like the rakers really low, but that's it for that. If it's too low, you're taking too much of a bite. Nice. And we'll go on to the next one. Flip it. Flip.
So there you go, Ron, 15 minutes, my chain is sharpened. That's how I do it. Uh, but first, before we use it, we have to take the tension back off that we put on and adjust the chain correctly. Uh, so we'll do that. Back it off, loose. A little bit more, too much. Nice. Make sure you lift your bar before you tighten your screw. That's why I like doing it on a stump or uh, a piece of piece of wood or a log. You could do it on a bench too. I find this is much easier because I have tons of trees. Good. Ready to cut. So let's see how this chain cuts. Simple 15 minute sharpen with the still easy chainsaw sharpener. Um, I'm sure it's called something different. I call it easy because it is easy. You saw how I did it. You saw how it cut. First cookie. Second cookie. Third cookie. Look how thin that is. That is a nice thin cut. Alright. You like cookies? Frisbees. So, if you like this video, hopefully it helped you out maybe to purchase a sharpener. Um, I prefer to sharpen this way because I know I'm getting a nice sharp tooth. Uh, if you like what you saw, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Notification bell. So when I post another video, you'll know. Well, that's going to do it for this one. So, I'll tell you what, I'll split you later.